has been getting a little more, uh, you know, rain, snow, and yeah. I guess it, that snowpack is what's dangerous. Yes, exactly. And we did get some more snow yesterday for some areas up in northern Utah. Um, some folks, like in Park City, seeing two inches of snow. So um, yesterday's storm was not a big one. It didn't have a whole lot of moisture wrapped around it. A fast mover, but still it brought us a little something. And for some of us, just beautiful views. Sherry Yancey posted this to our Utah's Weather Authority Facebook page, the sunset in the old um, look at those beautiful clouds out there. And as we dive into your morning, your Monday morning, this is a live look from the Intermountain camera. And you can see, obviously, still dark out there, sparkling lights or twinkling lights. Uh, but we're going to see clearing skies as we dive into the morning time with temperatures that not too shabby, mid-30s in Salt Lake City. It's feeling like 35 degrees, no breeze right now. But roads might be a little bit wet with some of those showers overnight. They're dying down right now, though. Low to mid-30s along the Wasatch Front right now, 20 in Park City. You're at 19 in Evanston, down in St. George, low 50s. Chilly, uh, but not as cold as it has been. And you can see from our satellite radar, we have that storm that's pushing off to the east of us. We had some lingering snow showers after midnight, but a lot of those are starting to die down in our northern mountains. You might still notice some flurries if you're up there. But as that storm pushes off to the east of us, we have high pressure that's quickly and briefly building in because we have another storm that's on the way. It's dropping in from the Pacific Northwest. And again, this is going to be warm ahead of the storm. So we're going to stay as rain in the valley, snow up in the mountains. You can see by six o'clock Tuesday afternoon into evening, we have some rain and snow developing far northern Utah. That's going to make its way from six o'clock into three o'clock in the morning across the Wasatch Front, staying as valley rain, mountain snow, and then it starts making its way into central Utah and southern Utah by Wednesday afternoon into evening. This upcoming storm, it's not a really strong one, but it'll bring us a little something, but mainly staying as rain in the valleys. Today in Salt Lake City, we have a beautiful day in store for you. Lots of sunshine, low 50s, still a couple degrees below our average, but it's going to feel good. Low 40s in Park City. You've got sunshine in the north and the south, nearing 70 in St. George. And tonight we have a few more clouds that roll in, but not nearly as cold. We'll be in the mid-30s as you wake up. And in St. George, you're waking up to 40 degrees. So as we take a look at St. George over the next couple days, tomorrow's even warmer, mid-70s. By Wednesday, you're staying pretty dry. You might notice some sprinkles. We will get some rain and snow down through our southern mountains. Uh, you'll cool a bit on Thursday, mid-60s, but fear not, temperatures climbing this upcoming weekend, mid-70s by Saturday. In Salt Lake City, tomorrow's even warmer, upper 50s. This is ahead of that next storm. Then we get some of that rain developing in the late afternoon, early evening. That's on and off for your Wednesday. Temperatures don't drop too much. You'll be in the upper 40s Wednesday. And then after Wednesday, that storm clears out. We're drying out and warming up mid 50s Friday and boom, things start to feel like spring on Saturday. We're reaching the low 60s.